In the next few minutes, we are going to see just how easy it is to create, package, and deploy a T24 data service. Once deployed, a data service allows you to view your data in a number of ways, including in Microsoft Excel. T24 provides more than 600 banks with a highly productive core banking system. As fantastic as T24 is, sometimes you just want to get your data somewhere else. Let's say we have a loan origination application. We want to report our new loans to our manager, create a simple mail merge, or perhaps create a pivot table of loans by region. Using T24's Integration Studio, we can use Eclipse or Visual Studio based tooling to generate a deployable package, which will serve up our data as an OData based data service. This package can be deployed in many of the most popular application servers, including IIS, JBoss, WebSphere, and WebLogic. Once your data service is deployed, you can access your data simply and securely. Because OData is consumable by SharePoint, Sesame, from JavaScript libraries, and of course Microsoft Excel, you can access your data now. OK, let's see a demo then. I'm going to log into T24. Have a look at the EB loan request application. EB loan request is just a simple application with a few fields and just a few records in the live table. But it's this application that I want to see in Excel. So I switch to the Eclipse tool and select File, New, Color, T24 Data Service Project. Give the project a name, Learn Interaction. We'll put it in C on Temenos slash examples. And we need to select the SDK home. The SDK is the command line based tooling, which you can run standalone. The Eclipse tooling is just front end. So the Eclipse tooling collects the information to which application and whether you want security enabled or not and passes that to this SDK. Now that we have the connection to T24 configured, we need to select an application. So go into resources and this version of the tooling is very simple. The GA version, you'll be able to search by product and find the application. So we simply enter EB loan request and save. We right click on the loan interaction project, Integration Studio, Generate Data Service. The Eclipse plugin calls the interaction SDK and passes in the T24 connection details and the applications that we want to introspect. After just a few seconds, it produces web application archive that we can deploy into JBoss. The Eclipse tool then copies it to the disk directory of the project, so we can go to the file system, Loan Interaction Project, Disk. From here, we can simply copy it to the JBoss deploy directory. Once in the deploy directory, JBoss will pick up the WAR as normal and deploy. We can now use the simple user agents that we generate along with the project. This user agent uses the JavaScript library to simply view the data. We can now take the service URL and put that into Excel. Microsoft Excel 2010 has a Power Pivot plugin which is an extension, but from 2013 this plugin is bundled with Excel. So we go to Power Pivot, Power Pivot window,
from data feeds and paste in our URL. Here if we test the connection it will fail because we haven't entered the username and password. This username and password is the JBoss username and password because that's the way we generated the web application. We go into advanced, we change the authentication mechanism to basic, we want to store the passwords, we enter our username and our password. Test the connection again, and it's succeeded as done. Click OK. And next. We can preview and filter our results. This is our data coming from 224. Click finish. We can now do all the things that we usually do in Excel. We can filter and we can create a pivot table. I want to see all of the loans by their employment status and the amount. Very simple. You can see there's T24 data in Excel.